a direct translation. It's supposed to be in um, Sabi Art Material Store. So let's try to go in and check out the items. I know that the first um, floor is not related to watercolor, so I guess I might skip that and move on to the second. So I found this brush. It's also such a small brush. It's this is five over zero, ten over zero, and it's very cheap. One hundred thirty-three yen. It's the brand of Sasabe. Oh, and they have. I think I bought something like this before. This is one hundred fifty um, yen. And then. Oh. I love the pearl white handle um, and they have a rigger brush which is only 200 yen not bad and also some angled um, brushes I haven't seen a dagger brush yet I think this is a filbert brush it's 300 plus yen only not not so bad um, and then this is my favorite I love um, handles that are acrylic and clear and it's very affordable this is just 300 plus yen um what else and then this is the surikami brush so um depends on the size but i think i got the size 2 so it's just 234 yen then you have the bigger one which I'm tempted to get this this is such a big brush um you have fan brush oh so they have a oh they have Raphael here um also Windsor and Newton uh, is this a series 7 yeah it is so you've got different um sizes so here are the prices um what's this oh so this is a size 5 so the size 5 has a box the others don't um okay you got some japanese brushes So 
it's um, very quiet here so I'm talking really softly um, and just you can observe the prices over here this this hmm, I'm not sure what this one is but it's expensive it's 2,000 plus yen then you have your um i think this is the hake brush so i bought some before at a really good price it's 800 yen only that's very cheap and then some of them are on sale so i have to check out the prices i'm gonna show you so you can screenshot this one and i'm letting you guys see the prices so that you can plan your budget for this for your trip um they have other japanese brushes but i'm not really um, familiar with these brushes so the white hair i think that's probably goat uh, goat's hair i'm not sure about the others so they also have a set like this and i think the other brushes are for calligraphy so that that I'm not sure, <laughs> not sure which one is for calligraphy and which one is for painting. Oh, so we have the regular um hack and brush. So this is one thousand two hundred yen, which I think is um it's not bad, not so bad. And you have the big one, three thousand yen. Also not bad. Um, and the bristles look quite soft. And then right there, I see the washer. Um, what's this? Hmm. Oh, this one looks good. Mm-hmm. I think I want to get one. This one looks nice. It's only 486 yen. Then you have other mixing palettes here. So I'm just gonna show you the price. I think I have this one. Um, but I bought it from Sekaido. And you have other mixing plates. So, if you're in Japan, I do suggest buying um, the Holbein. It's, Holbein is expensive in other countries, even in the Philippines. So if you a are able to go here, um, just look at this. A set of 48, it's, I think this is the price. Maybe it's on sale? But really, seven thousand five hundred sixty yen. That's very cheap for forty-eight colors. That's such a good price. So I would suggest um, getting this. Uh, what else? So you have the bigger set. You have a set of sixty. It's um, nine thousand plus yen. And what else? You can also buy the colors in on tubes. They have 5 ml and this is probably um oh this is on the 60 ml so you can buy it per tube and they have a big one as well this is super huge i'm checking how many ml this one is it looks pretty big oh this is 60. maybe this one is just 15 or 20. Oh, this is 15. Okay, so more Holbein. They have Vincer and Newton. Um, they sell it per 5 ml. So 36 colors is 15,000 plus yen. And then this is the Turner watercolor. Um, I have yet to try it. I have one. I have a set at home. But this is a good um, watercolor. So you can also try this one out. Um... I've also seen this Kusakabe, but I'm not sure if it's a good, um, good paint. So I don't have that yet, but they also sell it in tubes. So here are the swatches, and it actually looks nice. And 
and let's go down so you have the tubes of Windsor and Newton oh so the price it's not that bad Potter's pink is 378 yen I guess even if I added tax prices seems okay so you have a lot of colors what's this oh this is opera and let's check out what's right here you have one go um i have i think i might have this one So this is the Rembrandt other color. Um, they also sell it per palette, but it's quite expensive. Oh, so this is I think it's twenty one thousand yen for the forty eight colors. You have a smaller set. This is six thousand yen. Then. They also sell it in path pants. You have Schminka as well. And this one I got last time. But I have yet to try. It's the Daily Rowney um, Artist Grade watercolor. But it's housed in a very cute palette. Okay. Um, let's check out what's in here. Oh, so you have Cotman other color um and then some half pants they haven't tried this one yet pelican uh and then half pants of the whole bane paint and then they also have the sets but they don't have a wide range of sets compared to sekaido you only have these there are actually more. I was looking forward to that, but they don't really have it. And then some, I think this is Sakura Koi, but the name is different here. You got the same, um, just the same logo right there. So right here you have some poster color, and this is gouache. So this is. 7,000 plus yen, um, 24 colors, a 15 ml version. So they don't have the 5 ml version here, which I actually got in Sekaido. Um, so these are bigger tubes. And so here are the prices. It's uh, roughly. It's almost around 200 plus almost 300 yen per tube and i think it's a good it's a good price because helping is expensive in other countries like what i said a while ago um and then i think this is um i'm not sure what this one is oh this is turner acryl gouache so it's a mix of I think it's a cross between acrylic and gouache so this one from what i know you cannot um re-wet the paint anymore so it dries like, like acrylic and like gouache which you can um just add water to the remaining gouache in your palette and you can reactivate this one you can't so a set of 24 is four thousand plus yen i think this is the sale price and you have different sets over there. Oh, so I didn't know that Amsterdam had acryl gouache as well. And then you have tubes of acryl gouache. And then what's this? Oh, so what's this? It's acryl gouache liquid. It's just, oh, it's just white. Uh huh. Then you have acrylics 
over here but we're not gonna go through the acrylics anymore so this is a pretty small place it does have um the basic art materials though and then right here we have palettes um this is a nice palette it's 1000 plus yen Oh, they also have um, watercolor, watercolor paper. Um, we have a lot of brands here. These are Japanese brands, I think. Lester, um, White Ebis. We have Albreo, Avalon. Um, oh, they have, oh, they have Saunders. Saunders Waterford, which is not a Japanese brand, but they have their own um maybe they have their own version i'm not sure um they have a lot of sketchbook versions and also the block or pad versions so you can buy like small pads like this this is just um i think this is the sale price 7.94 and i'm not really sure why there are two prices what's this oh this is the langton um, this is not the 100% cotton paper. I made a mistake before. I thought that this was 100% cotton paper. So we have to look for this one. This is the 100% cotton paper. The other one is, I think it's just cellulose. Student grade. So. And you have different sizes. You have Canson. And you have Heritage okay so we have also in blocks and pads and um what else and then you have pre-cut montval which is super super good so it says here 977 yen but not sure maybe it's on sale but I'm not a fan of Montval, but if you are, you have to grab these. It, it's probably cheaper because it, it doesn't have a cover. It's not bound or anything. So loose sheets are usually cheaper. Um, so what's this? They also have some calligraphy papers, but I'm not super familiar with them. Um, so this is a popular brand here, the VIF Art. But... I personally don't like the paper, but you can try that. It's not really that expensive, so you can try the small version first. And then they have other postcard sizes. Oh, it's that. Oh, it's a postcard size. It looks good. But I don't know how much. I'm gonna check it out later. Um, then they have this. I'm not sure if this is traditional paint, but there's another kind called the Kuritake Gansai Tambi. This one I'm not sure about the brand, but I've seen this before. Um, Hmm, quite interesting, but I'm not sure if they have the same quality as the Gansai Tami because I have that.
So I hope that you enjoyed this video, this mini tour of the Sensabe Art Store. Um, if you guys um, enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And see you again in my next video. Bye!